Here we have the Zoom H6 and a condenser microphone that requires phantom power. So now if I just arm that track and turn up the gain, you can see that we're not really getting input here from this condenser microphone because of course we need phantom power and the Zoom H6 allows us to turn phantom power on independent or individually uh, for each channel. So in order to do that, we just press the menu button, then we'll scroll down to the microphone, press in on our wheel, come down to phantom power, press in on our wheel again, and we can scroll down to voltage if you want to change the voltage. Most microphones are going to use 48, but if you have different microphones that need different voltages, you can choose that in here. All right, so come to on off, press in on your wheel, and then we can choose which track we want to have phantom power on, or we can choose all tracks if you wanna do all four of your inputs. We just need channel one, press in on our wheel again, come down here, turn it on, now we'll press menu to return, and there we go. So now we have the phantom power icon right there on the screen, that lightning bolt. So we'll arm the track now, turn up the gain to the proper level, and now we're actually getting input to our condenser microphone that requires phantom power. To turn off phantom power, of course, just repeat those steps. So that is using phantom power here on the Zoom H6.